Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Hello, what is going on guys? I hope you're here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing some Persona 4 Golden as soon as this menu finishes up again. You can connect to the internet to access new functions in Persona 4 Golden. Would you like to know more? Sure. Okay, let's go normal. Let's go easy. Yes. So this is my very first Persona game, so, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and go normal difficulty right now, just to, just to have some fun, you know? Also, I'm speaking a little too high into the mic, not speaking directly into it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to change that, just like that. Well, relax and have fun with the game, for sure. Purely fiction, you say? Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> All right. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. For sure, okay. I guess I'm delighted too. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. That's odd, okay. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. What kind of contract are we talking about, old man? It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Um... No, I don't want to. Enter your last name. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna just put in my <laughs> what's it called the the actual character's last name. Okay. Hmm. I see. Now let's take a look into your future, shall we? Who's the lady, man? Do you believe in fortune telling? A little bit. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. There's only a set number of possibilities, but that amount of possibilities can mean anything. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Fuck was that card? Hmm. What you trying to tell me, boy? The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Yeah, sounds like my life. The card indicating the future beyond that is. Tell me it's death. Tell me, boy. What is it? The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. 
it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Maybe. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Why? My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. I don't think I trust you. But fuck it, I'll take the assistance. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Yeah, I've been wondering who that bitch is. Look at her. Look at her face. Staring all blankly and whatnot. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Margaret, you bitch, what's going on? How you doing, my boy? My, my, my boy, my girl. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Nah, stay here with him. We shall attend to the details another time. Nah, just let her stay with you, man. I don't want her. Until then, farewell. Hey, over here. Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> hey. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Okay. Cool. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. You're my uncle, basically. It's nice to meet you. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? You don't say that to a man. You just don't say that to a man. How could you ever say that to me? How could you? I'm, d I'm done with this. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this here's that's my your cousin. daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> this girl don't like me, and I don't like her. Fucking pigtail looking at Hello. <laughs> what are you so, so shy, shy for? for? <laughs> <All right>. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. All right. Hey. You drop this. I don't know why this game says unfriendly looking girl. Look at her, man. God damn. JK. <laughs> no, but seriously, what the fuck? If she wasn't friendly, why would she pick it up? Uh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Damn, okay. Fucking beer. No, I'm kidding. I know you made yourself with Dojima's address. Yeah, probably don't lose that, bro. What's wrong? Nothing, man. I'm going, I'm going. Just had to get the thing back. Get in the car and head for Dojima's house. Alright, for sure. Yo, this actually looks pretty cool. I like this. Innova, Central Shopping District. Gas station. Nice. Hi! Welcome to Mole! Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. For sure. Just paying for gas, I guess. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. What if you're left-handed, though? I know. Jeez. 
This girl's got an attitude. Damn. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. For sure, how are that? Good time as any for a smoke. You already have one in your mouth. Are you in high school? Why do you care? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Sounds like the premise of this game, yeah. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Okay, for sure. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Alright. Thanks for the info, Michael Jackson. Oh. I should get back to work. Yeah, you should fill up the car. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I sound like an asshole, my bad. And Nanako is looking at you. Get in the car. Are you okay? No, you. Did you get car sick? Nah, bro, I don't get car sick. You don't look too good. That's probably because I'm depressed as fuck. Could be exhausted from a long trip. You know that she mentions it. You feel a little dizzy. This boy's about to faint. What's wrong? You okay? Uh, just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Yeah, probably. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Pretty sure. Oh, we're here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? Shopping district is near the house, so you should go. Uh, you should get to know where all the stores are. For sure. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. For sure. Before? I met you just now. What were you doing at the station? It's just your imagination. What were you doing at the station? The station? Oh, that one time. Nothing. I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. Girl falls out. It's a bookstore. That's the metalworks. Poor you old man. Hmm. We have something to do in this shop with this one. It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. We used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only June's hadn't come into town, it's convenient, but it's a little sad. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. For sure. What is this? This is capsule machine. For sure. Oh wait, that was that. This is Maruk. Marukio tofu. This is Shiroku store. Of town. Hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. For sure. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. Residence. 
for the next year. This place will be your home. Why? Did my parents not want me anymore? All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. I appreciate that. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. <laughs> Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? I don't know, man, but you better fuck them up. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So, where is it? Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Alright. Interesting. God, Nanako, Nanako so it's blank. raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. Alright. Well, I'm off. Quaint little place, I like it. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. What did you tell you? Investigate stuff like crime scenes. Okay, cool. My dad's a detective. All right, that's pretty much what I expected. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. How litigious. Okay. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. That sounds fucking stupid. Every day is great at your Juness. That's a nice jingle, but still fucking sounds bad. Every day is great at your Juness. Mm mm, mm mm. Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar. Alright. Yes, entrance. For now. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Alright.
I don't think I want to proceed forward. Alright. What is this? Come on. Changing paths, I see. Do you seek the truth? If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? So, you are the one pursuing me. Try all you like. <coughs> it seems that you can see a little despite the fog <coughs> I see indeed that is very in interesting information <coughs> but you will not catch me so easily if what you seek is the truth then your search will be even harder. <coughs> Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! It's the bitch! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room from now. Good morning. Is it just me and you? Okay, let's eat. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. I'll get some ingredients next time I'm in town. That way, you know, we can eat some dinner together. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. For sure, that sounds nice. Somewhat restless. Are you good? Are you good, girl? And also, is what you're wearing your uniform? School zone. Samagawa flooded plain. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Um. Uh, later. Have a good time. As I will do as well. <laughs> Into the trash he goes, doesn't he? Almost. <laughs> you good, dude? That looks painful. <laughs> you should leave him be. 
nah, I, I want, I want to help the guy out. Why not? Why can't I help the guy out? You arrived at the main gates of Yosogami High School, or Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Uh, sounds like a dick. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get Ooh. to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Hmm. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, probably playing video games all night. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, no, it's this kid. All right. What's with him? Who knows? He hit his head on a uh, light pole. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, you know? All right, shut your traps. Good lord, this guy's fucking ugly. All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. You should really have a lisp. <laughs> Considering you got them fucking teeth. First things first. All right. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Baboons. Bro, you're the only one that looks like a monkey here, boy. As long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Nah, man, I, I don't think so. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Boy, you just say this is a waste of your time? It's a waste of my time being your damn class. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. I can relate. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. It sounds like it's your life story, man. I don't know. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. That's because you're a bitch. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. It's my space, bro. He goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Sit down. All right, fuck you, you fucking buck tooth motherfucker, fucking bitch ass looking ass. Fucking cardboard She's sheet the first. Worst, huh? Fucking teeth looking at no. <laughs> Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Bro, it's a fucking year. What do you mean just a year? Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Okay. Probably not. Honestly, I probably won't be able to fit in here considering I have a giant fucking spirit tomb coming out my body every now and then. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Okay. Attention all teachers, please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. 
All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. What's going on? Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Nah, I'm finna skip school, bro. Fuck that. Why does he walk like that? Jesus. Stick up his ass looking ass. Why are y'all talking around me? Ooh. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Uh, Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. I think a better answer from her would have been... <sighs> Sheesh! How much longer is this gonna take? As I was saying, I think a better answer from her would have been, even if she was, I wouldn't be able to sus discuss such things from you. Yeah, you know, that way it wouldn't seem like denying it for uh, outright would be, you know, just a defense mechanism, you know. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. We all should have. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Bro, you getting her to play Bloody Mary? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, oh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Sounds like that guy was about to commit seppuku. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? In this small town? Wowzers. What a thing. Come on, let's go take a look. Uh, no, I'm good. I think I'm just gonna head directly home. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Uh, okay, oh, sure. nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? I know this. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. All right. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see and I'm really sorry it was an accident please just have mercy until my next paycheck see ya thanks what stop right there what did you do to my DVD ah! Jesus Christ oh did you kick him in the nuts the? I can't believe this it's completely cracked ah! Isn't that a Bruce Lee movie? I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Oh, Jesus. Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Not Yukiko. In that way, Let's dude. ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in love. You should leave him be. Should I? Re let me help the guy out, man. He is an idiot, but let me help him out. Okay. You're Yuki, right? 
You wanna go hang out somewhere? Dude, the way you look, hell no. What? Who, who are you? He's up with a him. School. What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi ch- Amagi ch- uh, you say? So, uh, are you coming or not? You better learn some manners, boy. I- I'm not going. Fine! What kind of nice guy getting mad at uh, rejection type of shit, bro? Fuck that. Well what did he want from me? I don't know, probably your giblets. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You can't be that clueless. You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. <laughs> I don't recall doing that. Uh, she might be too clueless. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Okay, that was more outright. Nice. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, yep. you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. You're good. Doesn't really matter. People are Come on, let's Come go. On. Everyone's staring. Yeah. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Like I was a delinquent or something? There really is nothing here, huh? Oh, what the fuck? It was just grass, huh? Right? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Oh, there is something from Mount Yasagami? I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Okay, cool. Brings tourists in, I guess. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Sounds nice. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, I'm gonna just say nothing. Whoa! Are you blushing? <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? I mean, if it's her choice, I don't really care. Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. I don't really believe that. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? I don't know. Please let me go home. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of white kids. Hey, don't disturb the police. <laughs> So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. 
Excuse me. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Did you not just question what she just said? Hey, what are you doing here? We were just passing by. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. First time. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Why are you running like that, bro? Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. For sure. Let's go home. Mm, nice. Yeah, just return home. We'll be fine. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Again? Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. What the fuck? Okay. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The, the, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. That sucks. Just the other day. They here. found her on the roof? That's scary. <laughs> Oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Every day is great. I hate Juness. I don't really care. Every day is great at your Juness. This little girl concerns me with her singing. You're a good singer, though. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. I'd expect that much. <laughs> it's good. Alright. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the game so far. It's got me intrigued, it's got me hooked. And. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, you know, spending a lot of time in this game. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. It's somewhat of a long episode. I'll probably keep this game to about maybe two days per episode. 
and I'll try to edit it down so that way it's not too long of a video. But yeah, until next time, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, remember to follow me on Twitch. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Till then, I'll see you later.